Hi guys, um, so welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the format of this video, it's going to be a little different than normal. So I decided to do videos that were a little bit more interesting than just a plain old time lapse of me drawing, something that you guys could interact with, sort of. So I'm basically going to be doing a series of videos where in every video I'm drawing, you know, something like a draw with me, paint with me, and then at the same time, I'll be ta talking about a certain topic, you know, uh, related to art. So I thought that would be more fun and interesting. Uh, so as you can see, um, I'm just painting a girl here. It's one of my favorite things to paint. The topic of today's video is actually what are my favorite things to paint or draw. So um, recently I've been getting really addicted to oil paint. <laughs> Um, ever since I did a really large piece from my art class. Um, I want to get more into oil painting realism because, as you've seen from my other videos, that's usually my style. So the girl I'm painting right here, um, I didn't really want that one to be realistic. I just wanted to have fun with it. It was a very small sketchbook. I was just playing around. So, yeah, you can basically see the whole um, process of me drawing that. Alright, now on to the topic of the video. If you've seen my other videos, you'll know that I love drawing, like, people and faces. And if I n don't know what to draw, I'm constantly going back to drawing eyes. Like, that's it's just so much fun. I have muscle memory of drawing eyes, and I don't even need to look at a reference photo anymore to draw it. It's just, like, ingrained into my brain, and I do it all the time anyways. The other thing I really love drawing is water, and specifically water on faces. It's just, again, with this whole detail, intricacy thing. I love detail and I love adding like highlights and water is such a good um, way to do that. Drawing water, it's so easy to make it look realistic and like make the whole piece look realistic. And there's been so many pieces and drawings that I've done where there's been water on skin, water on the face, water dripping down. And it's just been so much fun to get into that. So even like if I'm drawing an eye, I'll incorporate a teardrop or like something like that. It's weird but like it's really fun to draw next i love drawing jewelry again with the whole intricacy and detail thing jewelry is just it again it's like highlights i love highlights it's my favorite part of the drawing it makes everything come to life and jewelry is just a whole i once created a drawing of a um, of an indian bride and she was wearing her whole cultural um get up and the whole dress the linga and everything um, and she had all this jewelry on and a lot of makeup too and it was one of my favorite drawings to create and to this day it's one of my favorite drawings the jewelry the dress the way that it sort of blurs in the background it's one of my favorite things I've ever made and it's just so so much fun to draw jewelry next I love 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 drawing hair or painting hair or anything close to that um most people don't like drawing hair it just it seems too difficult but trust me like once you get into it it's really 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 fun and like for example if you see me here I'm painting the background and I'm about to and the reason I'm doing that is to make sure the shadows and the hair are not too dark and once I do that I'm gonna add highlights to the hair I actually struggled with this painting a lot because when I was doing the hair it's just I couldn't get the amount of detail I wanted and I think it's my lack of experience with oil paints but Again, I'm still practicing. I'll get better. This is like my, what, second oil painting ever. So it's going to be fun. Um, yeah, so while I was doing the background, you can see that I'm making the hair. And I'm adding all this white. And it didn't really match up. It didn't really look good. I made it look like she had gray hair. And I was like, that's not what I want it to look like. So yeah, on my part, it was kind of a fail here. I did sort of save it towards the end. But... Yeah, it didn't turn out how I wanted it to turn out. And so, the at this point in the video, there's super bright lighting. I'm so sorry about that. It's just, I need to find a way to get, like, permanent lighting. Because at one point, it's, like, super light, super sunny. And then it's, like, nighttime. Because I'm working on it all day. And this drawing, because of oil painting, I made sure to add, like, just a couple layers. Which is why I had to wait a couple days for it to dry. Which is why the lighting change is so dramatic all the time. I don't like finishing a drawing in one singular day unless I have to. Um, I can, but I don't want to usually because I like to take my time. Usually when I come back to a drawing, there's always something I spot that I didn't spot before that I can fix. And it helps make the drawing better. So that's why. 
I never say a drawing is complete, like never, because I always find myself going back to it and repainting it. Um, anyways, so yeah, hair. As you can see, I'm like trying really hard to add all the little details. And my table's really messy. It's because it's my art table, duh. All right, so this is sort of the last minute touches and um, working on the hair to add a little bit more detail. Look at my reference photo to make sure it's accurate. And also, like, you're about to see me zoom in and work on the hair, which I'm adding more brown hues because I was adding way too much white earlier and it was making everything toned down. And it wasn't working really well, so I just had to do In the comments, you guys can say what is your uh, favorite things to draw or what you go back to when you don't know what to draw. I feel like that would be an interesting thing to hear about. And so, yeah, here you can just see me doing last minute. And here is the final piece. Bye!